call the meeting to order. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, open the meeting to the public. Um, one speaker tonight, uh, Steve Lambert, 22 Academy Street. Um, just to give you an update on the, the trucks that have been coming uh, down to 64 Maple. Uh, the last uh, incident that we observed was the first week of school, uh, about a half an hour before school, uh, close for the day. So fortunately I was out there and was able to catch one guy and direct him down. But the uh, signage seems to do have done a lot to uh, divert the traffic. Um, so I I'm, I'm, want to thank you for that and to, uh, to just report that it, we haven't really seen any trucks you know, since then last month. So that's good. Um, the other thing that a few meetings back I was here and there was some discussion about the bins out front. Um, I did see a guy unloading when I was at the compost pile one day so I, I stopped over and, and asked him what his schedule was. Uh, they come every Monday, and he said Ross's Point is its first stop. They come up from Glens Falls, they pick up everything, and they said even the, the junk out front that by law they have to take it, and unfortunately his organization has to dispose of it. Um, the other thing that I would like to uh, mention is that uh, the bottle bins are a disgrace to this community. Um, either the hockey association has to go up there and pick them up because obviously the guy on 9b isn't doing that if you go out there his house is just about buried in the bottles <laughs> so um, my suggestion would be at a minimum to have the bins moved over behind um, the uh, uh, right adjacent to the uh, to the compost uh, bin and at least that way uh, they're out of the way. I don't think they've been picked up all summer, to tell you the truth. Uh, they've been, they've looked, uh, they've added another bin, but one of the bins, the top, the, it looks like it's been crushed. So I would suggest that, uh, you know, just as a, a low hanging fruit for community development, that uh, the bins would be moved and, uh, you know, a, a, another way of uh, picking those bottles. Probably speak with uh, the hockey club. I have. I spoke to them on um, different occasions, and I've actually even called the Fall uh, Redemption Center, and they indicate that they're going to keep coming down and pick them up, get rid of them, because like on um, Thursday or Friday this week, there were just there was bags on the uh, on the tarmac, you know. So that's just drawing people to come and steal the bottles, so it's defeating the purpose of that. Well, we used to have one guy that used to do that. Yes. <laughs> he cleaned them up for him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, it's going to be up to the board if you want me to call the hockey club and tell them that they need to take uh, uh, well, better okay. actions or we're going to have to tell them they're no Maybe longer clean it up it. Or, you know. I would say, like Steve said, we'll put them back up there by the... I think they having them here, it's more of a convenience for people driving by. They see the bins, they'll stop and drop off their bottles. So I, I believe that's why they had it here. The only other thing they could do is they could check and see about um, the Redemption Center in Shazy. Maybe he would be a little bit more dependable to come and pick them up. Those are the only suggestions that I can give them other than they'll have to put the bins um, on private property other, other than someplace on built property. Right. Well, we'd like to at least get it, try to clean it up, so tell them, you know, we, you know, if this guy's not doing it, you know, maybe have them talk to Shay-Z and see if they can, you know, or at least try to get some solution to, you know, like I said, it's, a, it's, a, it's an eyesore, there's no doubt. Oh, even with them bends there, I mean, yeah. it's an eyesore. The guy come today, and there was, Oh yeah, I see it. I seen it this morning. Yeah, it was it was terrible this morning. Looked like somebody 
emptied their house out and yeah. just put it all right there. So I'll, I'll reach out to Matt and have uh, another conversation with him. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, anyone else wanted to adjust the board at this time? If not, we'll. we'll uh, Go to the minutes of the October 2nd regular meeting. Everybody has a copy. Um, are there any corrections? I make a um, motion we accept them as printed. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion. Um, bills? Any additions or deletions? We have four additions this evening. The first one is business card. It's $19.31. It's meal expenses for uh, the training for the electric department. Uh, Excel's health plan, the November bill, uh, 45771.46. Rosenbaum appraisal and consultant, that's the appraisal report for Rapid Way, $1,500. And simply prescriptions, uh, November bill, 6301.12. Okay. I make a motion on the bills to be paid. A second. All in favor? Passing the bill, paying the bills. Aye. 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 Bills paid. <coughs> okay. Correspondence. Do we have any correspondence? No correspondence. No correspondence. Okay. Report to the mayor and trustees. Okay. First thing I have um, is a draft amended for local law 54, 57-4, the commercial industrial development. Um, we should have a copy of that. So. Tonight we're just going to, I mean, look over the everything that's on this, and Combernane will be at our next meeting. And if you have any questions for them, um, this is for to change um, the village code for the responsibilities of the developer and the village with respect to commercial and industrial development. So um, look through that if you have any questions. Write them down for Tom for next meeting, and we'll probably pass that law next next meeting. Um, and as our sentence said, we have a, an appraisal report for the property on Rapidu Way um, that came in at twenty-seven thousand um, dollars. Everybody should have a packet of that. Also, um, same thing. We just kind of look it over and see what what you think um, if we want to put it up for bid for resale for the 27,000 uh, we can decide on that next week or next next meeting um, at this point in time we'll wait for the full board and that's that and I just want to remind the public that the fall cleanup days are going to be next week, October 23rd through the 27th. And there will be no pickup after the 27th, so please get your leaves and your brush out so that the village can pick them up for you. And that's all I have for this evening. Uh, Trustee Arnold. Uh, I have the uh, fire department. We wish to inform you, or Dear Mayor and Trustees, uh, we wish to inform you that we have uh, members who have been approved for our company for a, a probation period of six months. Edward Martin of 104 Maple Street, Russell Point, and Madison Gamla, 75 Champlain Street. Please act on these members as soon as possible. Do we need a motion on that? Yeah. I make a motion that we accept these two people. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion we'll passed. Okay, and uh, I went to the library board meeting the other night, and uh, I don't know if everybody knows, but we're having another solar eclipse on April 8th of uh, 2024, and Ann at the library. She has uh, glasses to wear for the solar eclipse. I don't know if they're, if they're selling them or if it's a donation or whatever. Do you have any idea, Steve? I think they're free. They're free? Yep. Okay, they're free. 
and anybody wants to pick up a pair, they can pick up a pair or a couple pair, whatever. But she'll have them there at the library. Uh, what else I have here? Uh, I talked to Chris and the fire department uh, meeting, and we're going to try to schedule our uh, fire department uh, lights, parade lights, and the uh, uh, Christmas tree lights all in one, one session. It would be probably most likely on a Saturday. So uh, the chairman of the uh, light committee for the trucks hasn't got around to the other fire department yet to see when they're going to have their fire department truck parade. And we'll talk to Chris and stuff like that and see when he wants to have their Christmas tree light parade. And also, if anybody wants to donate some money to the library fund, uh, our friends of the library, so we can buy some books, because we give out books last year, and it was a big success at the Chris, uh, kids' Christmas lighting party. Uh, if anybody wants to donate a few dollars or so, uh, you can bring them to the village office or bring them to the library. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor, or Deputy Mayor. Okay. Thank you, Trustee Arnold. Uh, Trustee Southwood. I just have two things. One is that uh, for any anyone interested in, in skating, uh, keep an eye on the village website. We spoke with our administrator, and the schedule for free skate will be up, I believe, closer to the end of the month. So keep an eye on the website for that village website for that. And the other, the other point is a reminder to our residents who have dogs to please pick up after your dogs. We have pickup stations all over the village. It's just a simple thing to thing to do. It's a community effort to make sure the village keeps looking nice. So please pick up after your dogs. That's all I have. Um, other reports. Anything else? Or said no. John, anything else? No. No? All set? Okay. Um, anybody else want to address the board? Any in public? No? And then I call for an adjournment. I make, uh, make a motion to adjourn. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, sorry. I have one other thing. There's a lot of slate that's falling off the roof. There's about eight or ten that's uh, that's missing up there and Don Diesel was up there today and he said that if you'd like him to have us give him a, an estimate he'll give you an estimate if he's got some sleep to fix the, fix the roof. Do you have his contact number? Okay. Uh, I can get one for you. Okay. Okay, I'll give it to you tomorrow. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. That's all I have now. Okay. <laughs> We're adjourned.